Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another episode not in Australia. We're here in Prague for the World Rowing Indoor Championships 2024. It's been quite a hectic last week or so. Obviously we travelled here from Scotland. I had to drive up from Bath to drop off Yam with my parents so he was looked after. And then we had spent a couple of days at home doing some prep workouts for the Versa Challenge that I'll be competing in here in Prague. And then as well as that, we've got other plans going on that I kind of alluded to in the last episode, but still things are evolving. And a big part of that is trying to find a new place. So I will be moving to hopefully Henley on Thames or somewhere near, but I'm kind of struggling a little bit to find somewhere for Yam and I. So if you or someone you know has somewhere or knows of somewhere that I could stay, I would really appreciate the Yam Squad's help just let me know in the comments and we can talk from there. But for this episode, it's about doing the final preparation for the Versa Challenge this weekend. I'm really excited to be here in Prague so I can be part of the World Rowing Championships this year and doing something a little bit different, the Versa Challenge, which I'll talk about in more detail in the next episode. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the scenery and I'll see you tomorrow where we get to see the arena, where we're competing and hopefully test out some of the events. And we've made it to the venue in which we will be competing this year. Time to head in and see what we're getting up to today. And first things first, some media duties. And we've been given some sweet Versa merch. A nice little bag, let's see what else we've got. A Versa hat. And a Versa jumper. So we're gonna get this on do some green screen work. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two. One. That's it. So this is the arena that we will be competing in coming up this weekend. The blue mats there. That's for the Versa athletes, so that's over there here. And then the normal 2K, 500 meters, etc. on the machines over the other side. They're just testing things out just now, and maybe we'll do that, a little bit of that later on, depending on how timings go. Oh, were you guys racing Steve Greek race as well? <laughs> And we've found some rowing machines to get warmed up on here at the venue in the dungeon, the warm-up area. There's absolutely loads of them, so really good. And I think pretty much all of them, they seem pretty much brand new. So great to get out on the machines, testing out these new Concept 2 machines. And we've got two athletes, one either side of me. And who do we have on my left? Elizabeth Gilmore. And for those of you that don't know, we've got Elizabeth, who a Yam Squad athlete, very accomplished rower been doing really well over the past couple of years. So you've only been rowing for about two, and about two and a half years. And so competing here in the Versa Challenge and also going to row across the Atlantic Ocean come summertime. So that'll be an absolutely fantastic adventure. And on my right, we've got Andy Tomlinson, not Andrew. <laughs> so on the, on the race card, it says Andrew and he's a bit, a bit peeved about that. But we're all living together for the duration of our stay here in Prague. So exciting combination of people. Andy and I will be competing against each other and we'll obviously be cheering on Elizabeth in the women's side. But now we warm up, we get the legs moving after travel day, just to get a little bit of breathing going. <laughs> So one of the events uh, includes 200 meters as fast as you can to qualify for the next round, 500 meters, next round, 800 meters. Andy, just showing us how you get off the line. Warm up complete, not as hot as I thought it would be down here actually, the air seems to be circulating quite well, but maybe be back here pre-competition to get some warm ups in. Now we're gonna grab some food because remember food is fuel and then hopefully uh, some more best athletes are preparing for their races tomorrow. We're gonna test out one of the events on the machines in the arena 
which will be pretty exciting. And as well, Eric Murray is going to join us too. So right now, the day before the World Champs, as you can tell, very, very busy. It's a bunch of it's youths, police, firemen, all doing events, partly to test out the apparatus, which helps us, but also partly to just help grow the sport. So it's great to see so many youths out here trying out indoor rowing. Most of them seems to be doing relays and different things, getting on the rowing machine and testing it out. But now, it's time to fuel up. And we've finished fueling up because remember food is fuel absolutely delicious sauerkraut mashed potatoes sausage salmon and some warm lentil salad excellent fueling up for now we're doing some testing of the power and pace is that right yes yes <laughs> so the power, power and pace so it's it's essential i'm not 100 percent we're, we're trying to figure out really what the rules are but basically we do some power and we do some pace and it's up you get points for consistency throughout the whole workout the crowd get to decide which way the rates go from 18 to 37 37 to 18 but we're going to figure out the rules and also we're going to figure out just how it all works here on the machines itself so back into the arena and we're going to get onto the ergs and i think like i mentioned earlier Eric Murray will be joining us too. So we're just testing out a little bit of it. You'll see the screen. And then they're going to do different graphics with all the athletes. And obviously trying out the Ergs as well. Attention. So like I mentioned earlier, we've got different athletes, youths, policemen, firemen doing the testing, but also doing their events too. And unfortunately, no power or pace done on the egg. We're all set to go, but unfortunately running a little bit behind. And then because the Versa system and the the normal race 2k 500 relay system that we saw going on is different so they can't just switch it about and they're going to be doing the testing with some more firemen and policemen later so they are going to get their testing in but unfortunately for us we don't get the testing in now but the opportunity is there later for now a little bit of resting we're going to get head back to the place that we are staying get some food to fuel up for the rest of the weekend perhaps at some stage and just relax before we come back here for one a meeting to discuss any questions and just get everything understood and if we have an opportunity to also get some testing done on the erg so as always yam squad we de deal with the cards we are dealt no matter what they may be so let's rest up okay, so And we've made it to the Airbnb where we're staying. Pretty nice setup. A little pool table to relax. A little lounge area to relax. And the kitchen back there to prepare the fuel to fuel us for the event. So chilling out, relaxing until we have to travel back out and get some more information about what we're doing for the event. Made it on to the subway, headed back to the venue post fueling up. We post a little bit of a nap as well. I'm going to see, have a little bit of a meeting discussing what we're up to, and then maybe watching, maybe not watching, what the couple of events are going to be doing tomorrow. Too bad.
I'm getting all the smoke and the, I think there's going to be fireworks and everything going on when we actually get the event. So, what's going to happen, we're going to come through here, all the smoke and everything's going to go off, and we're going to sit on those air and do the different events. Right now, they're testing out the chase, the final event, and it's going to be a 10 meter head start depending on where you came previously in events. But that's the last event, that's a future Yam Squad to look forward to in the next episode. Right now, we're all here, just testing it out. Attention. And we're just finished up seeing the events. We've got another Yam Squad athlete here. Hello, introduce yourself to the uh, Yeah, Antoinette Haig, uh, racing the 2339 um, 2000 meters on uh, Saturday afternoon. And we've Thanks. been working <laughs> together for. Uh, come, coming up to a year. Yeah, yeah You yeah. know, rebuilding the broken hand. Yep. <laughs> Having fun, enjoying the process, and going to see how we get on tomorrow. And we've made it out of the venue once more for this evening. Now, as always, it's time to fuel up, even though we may not necessarily have done much work. It can be quite important, especially before your race days, to be able to, yes, you're not, it's not carb loading or anything like that, but say during race day, especially when you've got multiple events, having those extra calories backed up can sometimes just give you that little bit more energy, whether that's, oh, maybe I've missed a snack bar or something on race day can help you. Hopefully that makes some sense. But now it was great to get out there, see the potential or see the events, see what the screens are gonna look like when we're out on the floor racing. And as well, obviously meeting members of the Yam Squad, Yam Squad athletes. And for those of you that aren't aware, I do coach Yam Squad athletes, including Elizabeth there as well. So hopefully she will do really well, as well as Antoinette. And we've got a couple of other athletes here racing who hopefully will meet through the weekend but that's it for today's episode yam squad hopefully you've enjoyed it if you did remember to hit that like button if you didn't let me know in the comments below why not and if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next episode where will we be we will all be competing in the versa challenge at the world rowing indoor championships